In this chapter, you will learn about basic time series methods and transformations. These basic methods include parsing dates provided as strings and converting the result into the matching pandas data type called daytime64. They also include selecting subperiods of your time series and setting or changing the frequency of the daytime index. You can change the frequency to a higher or lower value. Upsampling involves increasing the time frequency, which requires generating new data. Downsampling means decreasing the frequency, which requires aggregating data. We'll discuss this in the next chapter. Our first data set is a time series with two years of daily Google stock prices. You will often have to deal with dates that are of type object or string. You'll notice a column called date that is of data type object. However, when you print the first few rows using the head method, you see that it contains dates. To convert the strings to the correct data type, Pandas has the two daytime function. Just pass a data column or series to this function, and it will pass the string as daytime64 type. You can now set the repair column as index using set index. The resulting daytime index lets you treat the entire data frame as time series data. Plotting the stock price shows that Google has been doing well over these two years. It also shows that with the daytime index, Pandas automatically creates reasonably spaced date labels for the x-axis. To select subsets of your time series, you can use strings that represent a complete date or relevant parts of a date. If you just pass a string representing a year, Pandas returns all dates within this year. If you pass a slice that starts with one month and ends at another, you get all dates within that range. Note that the date range will be inclusive of the end date, different from other intervals in Python. You can also use dot .lock with a complete date and the column label to select a specific stock price. You may have noticed that our daytime index did not have frequency information. You can set the frequency information using s freq. The alias d stands for calendar day frequency. As a result, the daytime index now contains many dates where stock wasn't bought or sold. These new dates have missing values. This is also called upsampling because the new data frame is of higher frequency than the original version. In the next chapter, you will learn how to create data points for the missing values. You can also convert the daytime index to business day frequency. Pandas has a list of days commonly considered business days. The alias for business day frequency is B. You now see a smaller number of additional dates created. You can use the method isNull to select the missing values and check which dates are considered business days but have no stock prices because no stocks were traded. Let's now practice your new time series skills.